Hi, Herbert Lee here. Welcome to another series. This is the series, Do You Make These Mistakes Learning English? Watch the video till the very end. You're going to get some really valuable tips on how you can correct how you're learning English. How you learn English is very important. You may have been learning English for many, many years, but you haven't been doing it correctly, and that's slowing you down. So watch the entire video to get all the tips. Better still, watch the entire series of seven to get all the tips. And then, the most important part is apply what you learn. Learn and do. Don't just watch the videos and say, hey, that's a nice idea. I might want to try that. Don't try. Actually do it. Also, do me a favor. After you've tried the technique, after you've used these tips to actually improve how you learn English, leave your comments in the comment section. I'd love to hear from you. And if you really find these videos useful, click on the subscribe button to make sure you get all the updates. Hi, welcome to episode five. Do you make these mistakes learning English? Diana Boer was my writing mentor and Harvey McKay was my book publishing mentor. Mentors can make a big difference in how well, how fast, and how effective your learning can be. Hi, if you're really willing to learn English fluency, you need to find yourself a mentor. And that's hard to do. A mentor is someone that may be many, many levels above you, but who has all the skills and can transfer those skills to you quickly and effectively. In my life, I was very lucky. I had many mentors. One of my early mentors was back in 1996. I was just starting to write books. And you know, if you've ever tried to write a book, you know it's a struggle. And English, you know, is my second language. And even though I had good training in Canada from my English teacher in grade eight, Miss Tratt, and I had all the basics in place, Trying to write a book is still a struggle. So I reached out. Uh, back at that time, Hong Kong was very famous for copy software. And so I managed to get a copy of a software program, 100 letters you can use in business. It was on a diskette, if you know what that is. Uh, and I sent it to a lady who had written, I think at that time, 30 or 35 books. Her name was Diana Boer. You can search for her on Amazon, D-I-A-N-N-A. B-O-O-H-E-R. And I sent her a copy of this diskette and I said, you know, you probably know that there are fake copies of your software floating around in the world. Just thought you might want to see one. By the way, I would like to know what the secret of your writing so quickly is because I notice you write two books a year. Well, back in those days, there was no email. So I put it in an envelope. I mailed it to her address in Texas. And three weeks later, she sent me a letter in a big envelope. It was a six-page letter, handwritten. She didn't write it on her computer. She hand-wrote the letter, and she said, Dear Herbert, thank you very much for the software. I knew those things were being sold. I had never seen one. I've given it to my agent, and he will look into it. But thank you very much. That was very kind of you to send that to me. I, I have now seen it for myself, and I sort of know what the enemy is. I know what I'm up against. Thank you very much. And then she said, and now to answer your question, here's how I write my books. I lock myself up in a hotel room for two weeks, 14 days. I have all my materials in file folders, chapter by chapter. So I have 12 chapters. If you look at my books, every book has 12 chapters. I spend one day looking through the material in each file and writing one chapter. On day 13 and day 14, I do a very rough edit and then uh, on day 15, I go home and I send it to my editor at the publishing company and I'm done. And that's another book. And I went, wow. And she does that twice a year. If you look at her uh, uh, on Amazon, you'll see she's published over 50 books. She's doing two books a year the same way. And she says, believe me, this is a lot easier than trying to pick at it, right? An hour a day, an hour a day, an hour a day, two hours a day. You just spend eternity finishing a book. Two weeks, I give myself two weeks. One chapter a day for 12 days, two days to edit, and the book is done. And she said, that's how I advise anyone to write a book. With that letter, when I read the letter, I was so inspired, I was working on two booklets, 32-page booklets at that time. And I finished both booklets 
the final editing was done in less than three or four hours, and I went to the publisher with that. A year later, I took her advice, and I published this book. This is a book called The 3D Presentation System. It's uh, my experience, 15 years teaching people, executives and chief executives, how to speak in public. And I, I was able to transfer public speaking skills to these executives in a six to eight hour period and was paid very handsomely for it. And so I developed this into a workbook and it's a 192 page book. And I was able to write this in about nine days based on the inspiration that Diana had given me. And then when I wanted to promote the book, I gave a phone call to a man by the name of Harvey McKay. Now again, if you do a search on Amazon, you'll see Harvey McKay is the world's best selling business author. He has sold 60 million copies of his books. And his books are like uh, Swim with the Sharks, uh, Never Trust the Man uh, Who Doesn't Wear a Shirt. He's got very obscure and funny titles. Well, I phoned him one day, asked him some questions, and I was able to speak directly to him. And he said to me, he said, Herbert, you sound like you're very sincere about this project, about publishing your book and publishing it yourself. Uh, here's my personal phone number. If you have a specific question, please call me direct. And I'm going to send you a packet of materials. Please give me your address. I gave him my address in Macau. Ten days later, I get this big package in the mail, two of his books, newspaper articles, magazine articles, how to publish a book, how to publicize a book, all the things you needed to know about book publishing that he had done. Wow, it was really inspiring. Then I wanted to know, now I've got the book published, what do I do to publicize it? And I want to get on a radio station like a talk show. So I said, Harvey said if I call him and ask him a specific question, he will answer it for me. I called Harvey on the phone, direct line, and I said, Harvey, remember me? It's Herbert Lee calling from Macau. He said, yes, I sent you the package. Did you get it? I said, yes, thank you very much. Here's my question. I want to get on a radio program, a radio talk show to promote my book. How do I do it? He said, easy. Get yourself a notepad and a pen and paper. I'll tell you two things you need to say. I said, I got the pen and paper. What do I say? He said, I've done this thousands of times. Here's what you do. Don't chit chat with the guy. Get the guy who's the host of the show on, the line, on your phone and you say to him two things. Hi, my name is Herbert Lee. I've just published a book. It's called The 3D Presentation System. When would be a good time to come on your show? And then shut up. I said, that's it? He said, that's it. No chit chat, nothing. I did exactly what he said. Five minutes after I hung up the phone, I picked up the phone and I called the radio station in Hong Kong, said the same thing to the guy over the phone. And the guy said, uh, let me see on the calendar I have next Tuesday or next Thursday. Which one's better for you? Said, I'm coming in Tuesday. Good. 9.30, be at the studio. My uh, secretary will call you and give you the address. Thank you very much. And he hung up. That was it. And I was like, I was in total shock. But it was proof that if you follow someone's advice, someone who's done it before, and you follow it exactly as they say, you'll get perfect results. And that's exactly what I did in the case of Diana Boer and in the case of Harvey McKay. One, I wanted to learn how to write books quickly. And two, I wanted to get on a radio show to promote my book. In both cases, I got advice that was very specific and I followed it to the letter and I got great results. If you want to improve your English fluency, find yourself a mentor, not someone who's going to be easy on you and say, oh, everything's fine, everything's good. Find someone who's a little bit rougher, someone who's going to just tell you like, like it is. And they're going to say, if you want to do this, you need to do this. And when they give you the advice, don't let your opinions, don't let your ideas get in the way. Just do what they tell you. A good mentor will give you good advice, but good advice is useless unless you follow it. So my tip for today, overcome the mistake of just listening to everybody. Find a mentor, someone you can believe in, someone who believes in you and will give you specific advice that you must follow.